In a small Ontario town, an ordinary couple moves into a historic home, only to be plagued by the chilling sounds of footsteps that seem to echo from the past. But what is really lurking behind their bedroom wall? Hello, hello, I'm Arudai and welcome to Moonskull. If you're looking for tales of horror, the paranormal, sci-fi, or the unexplained, then you are in the right place. I know you 5,000 wonderful fear addicts, as well as the 30% of you closet horror buffs who still have not subscribed yet, are eager to get into the story I just mentioned. So, let's dive into Whitney's chilling experience. Whitney and her partner Jed had moved into an old duplex during the pandemic. The building, dating back to the late 1800s, stood with a certain charm, but also a heavy unseen weight. They occupied the smaller side, an addition that had been built somewhat recently, while the other half housed a single mother and her young son. The couple thought they were lucky to find such a quaint place, but little did they know that the house held on to secrets from the past. Shortly after settling in, Whitney began to hear the strange sounds that would disturb the peace of their nights. It began with what sounded like heavy footsteps stomping up the staircase. At first, she dismissed it as the rambunctious antics of their neighbor's child playing late into the night. But as the days turned into weeks, those footsteps became a constant, unnerving presence in her life. Every few nights, they would jolt her awake, echoing loudly enough to awaken her deep-seated fears. It must be the kid, Jed would say, trying to soothe her worries. But deep down, Whitney felt something was amiss. One night, the stomping returned with an intensity that made her pulse race. She turned to Jed, shaking him awake. Do you hear that? She whispered urgently. He groaned, kind of half asleep, and insisted it was the boy again, running amok in the middle of the night. But Whitney knew in her gut that the sound came from behind them as if it were directly outside their bedroom wall. It was one evening while discussing the incessant noise with her stepdad, who had renovated the house before they moved in, that the past began to unravel itself. This house used to be a parsonage for the church down the street, he explained casually. There was once a spiral staircase leading to a door right into your bedroom. Whitney's heart sank. She suddenly recalled how the noise had often mimicked the sound of someone climbing stairs. The pattern familiar, yet terrifying. The following weeks became a blur of confusion and dread. Although Whitney and Jed tried to rationalize the sounds, maybe it was just the old wood creaking or the peculiar acoustics of the house, deep down she couldn't shake the eerie feeling that something or someone was lingering in the shadows of their home. The thought of a past long gone coexisting with their present left her restless, questioning everything she thought she knew. After a year and a half in the home, Whitney and Jed made the decision to move. They were unable to shake the sensation of being watched or the echoing footsteps that haunted their dreams. As they packed their belongings, Whitney glanced back to the house one last time, wondering about the history woven into its foundation. And there you have it, folks, a haunting tale of a seemingly ordinary home that turned into a chilling nightmare. What do you think happened in Whitney's house? Was it merely the echoes of a child playing in a separate section of the duplex? Or was it something far more paranormal and interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want more of this kind of wild paranormal real life madness, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe because we got plenty of more where that came from. I'm Arudai, and until next time, stay curious, stay cautious, and remember, sometimes the scariest things are the ones we can't explain.